Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. For those who are returning and welcome for those who are new. So this is gonna be a super, super quick video. I can't believe I'm even doing this right before I have to get ready for work. But you know what? Some of my videos that are on the fly actually end up doing very well. So <laughs> this is my Kyoto special edition Tian from Traveler's Company. And my daughter actually picked it up for me before she came back. I forgot to tell y'all in the other video that she was on her way back, but she is back now. She's been back for about a month now. I am excited to show this to y'all. So she got the Kyoto little charm. I actually wanted this because my mother, myself, and my daughter, we all met up. Well, my daughter was already there studying abroad and we decided to visit her. So it was all three generations in Kyoto. So anyhow, I have this plastic uh, zip pouch that I haven't decided what I wanted on here yet. I've had this for a month now already, just slowly putting it together. This is the insert uh, special edition. And um, yeah, it's really pretty. It's got the foiling. Y'all have seen this online, I'm sure. Anyway, I always keep a purse in the front. And here is the Traveler's Company store in Kyoto. We took pictures in the different sites and the food was delicious. If you don't already know, the Michelin star, which is like the absolute highest award that you can get for food, Japan and France are usually the top uh, Michelin star achievers. And so food in the area, just impeccable. Okay, so this is all blank for now. Um, I did this where I'm writing down quotes of the books I've read or I'm reading, what have you. Um, I'm actually reading Emma right now uh, by Jane Austen and I thought this was funny. The time when they were at church and Mr. Elton was married. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that because I don't have a whole lot of time. I really wanted this to just be a five minute video. Okay, real quick y'all. I wanted to show you what I was using before. I started using the... Traveler's Notebook TN. So this is my art journal. Y'all might have seen it before. This is an Emma A6. And I have a Obonichi notebook. It's just the basic notebook. It's not dated or anything like that. So I keep swatches in here and I doodle in here uh, things of that nature. And I also do my collaging. So when I did my flip through of this, uh, I can't remember when I did it, but I forgot to show y'all the book section, like the books that I've read and what I think about them. And it's very basic. It's not like what probably y'all see in the journaling community. Here's a Emma, what I've written so far. And I don't know if I want to transfer all the ones I've already done into that new book. I kind of just want to start from scratch. I don't know yet, but I just wanted to quickly show y'all what I was using beforehand. And it's really not a whole lot of room because as you can see, that was several pages already. And that was just what like maybe five books. Anyway, I am filming this before I have to get ready for work. So <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. And then, oh, and then one of the books that I wanted to read, I saw some YouTuber mention it. Uh, it's supposed to be the life of the author of The Secret Garden. And then I made this folder and it's just decorative paper on cardstock. Um, I hope the glare is not too bad. Okay, so I just have stickers and stuff in here, little paper doilies. And I got stickers in here and uh, scrap paper. I have, oh more stickers in here a pencil board and it's the 2024 travel town i think it's such a pretty blue well i like blue in general but um and then i made these bookmarks and i'm gonna laminate them i just haven't had the time to do it or you know have made the time anyway that's that and then here's the other half of the zipper pouch i've just got ephemera 
and my washi tape and all this other stuff. I've got the Have a Nice Trip from Traveler's Company, the plane with, with an airplane on it. And I just love these clips. Um, they're very durable and they weigh a lot. So when I want my books open, I like having these. This I made, but let me flip through it first. Uh, so this is just cardstock paper. This is another verse in the front. Y'all know I always put verses in the front. I drew this, a stack of books that <laughs> was in my uh, office room. This is me <laughs> reading um, at a park and I drew some things here and then I also traced it with my Micron. Okay, and then I have some watercolors that I did and there's this is blank in between. I do like the watercolors on this Toma River paper. This is actually loose leaf Toma River paper that I put together in a book. And then I have this. And what is that? And then I have this. Uh, and then my last watercolor is this. And then I was just testing out my pens. And then I have a log. It's really not a tracker. It's a log of the books I'm reading and all that. Um, again, it's just, it's fairly new, but let me take this out for you so you can see what I ended up doing. So I just sewed it right here. But yep, yeah, that is it, y'all. Oh, I have this pen clip from Traveler's Company. I have my Uniball uh, 207 Plus pen, and I just clipped it on here. You know, I was testing out my gel pens. Okay, so that is all. I hope you enjoyed this really, really quick video. I don't, like I said, I don't have a lot of time. Let me show you. So some other books that I'm reading. I'm actually reading this. I don't know if I really like it. I'm not new to self-help books. I have a ton of them, but I've started seeing this in the YouTube community. I don't particularly like it and I'll share my thoughts on why. Um, I'm rereading this. I've read this before. It's a book that I've had for like five years or what have you, but anyway, okay. I definitely look forward to sharing more once I get more in it. I've been meaning to film this. Just haven't put in the time for it. A lot has been going on. I definitely want to do like a chit chat, sit down with me kind of video to give you an update of what's been going on. Some exciting stuff uh, happening soon in a couple months. So I'm very excited for that. I want to thank those who subbed recently and the ones who've been with me for quite some time. Really appreciate it. I am nearing a thousand subs and I'm so, so excited. I don't know what to do when I hit a thousand subs. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, I mean, that was never really my goal to begin with when I started this channel, but it's really fun watching the journey anyway. And I absolutely love all the comments that y'all share your life experiences with me in terms of journaling, in terms of handbags, in terms of finances, all of that stuff really enjoy it. So keep those comments coming. I love hearing from y'all and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.